Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. In the last part, uh, don't, I'm not even going to talk about it. I was super tired and it was it went terribly. So instead we're just going to press onwards. Uh, nothing catches our eye in the fridge. So I have to apologize. Um, my capture card, my standard definition capture card, has been going a bit crazy lately. So uh, I might, I had to color correct the last things and uh, it should be fine now. But we'll see. It might die in the middle of this, and I'll just have to tug at it until it works. So, uh, until that happens, though, we'll just keep playing the game as if nothing happened. We're going to make some cranes. Understanding has increased. Suddenly forgot. Rely on muscle memory. Sure, let's try that. You just became more confused and ended up slowing down. You waste a lot of origami paper, too. Well, at least there wasn't a negative of that. I mean, aside from the fact that we slowed down. Could be worse. We could have actually been like, you've accidentally set fire to all the origami cranes and your understanding has gone down to zero. You have the day off from school today. The fog will come after several days of blah blah blah, we know. We got the information actually. So we might go to Teddy right away. First off though, it is a Sunday. We're gonna check out the shopping program. Here comes Tanaka on the waves to you. Today's products, the myth-like sword. Yo, I don't even care about the herbal pills. I want the myth-like sword. Oh my god, no, I don't want that. Yo. Yeah. I mean, w the name, the myth-like sword. It's probably going to be like an Excalibur situation though, but still, I want it. Sold out the entire lot. Amazing. Oh man, I actually want to get it like right now, but I won't get it for like a, a good while. So, let's uh, see what's happening just around. So I guess, how are we doing for items, I say, as I'm running into walls? I mean, I have a lot of healing stuff, really. I actually, I, oh no, wait, we're, we're, we're pretty decent. We have enough revival beads to last us to like... I was gonna say the end of the game, but that's that's not true at all. Um, you know what? I say, I say, oh, my colors are going off. One sec. One sec. Get back here. Come on. I'm just literally shaking it until it works. There we go. It's it's awkward. It, that, it doesn't happen like that all the time, I swear. Um, let's head to Juness and get gather the team and go talk to Teddy and get this plot a-rolling, so at least we can go to the dungeon if need be. Because, I mean, number one, we're level 30, and I think our, I think the, the recommended thing, according to people, was 35 for the end of this dungeon, so... What's up for today? We are going to first off confirm the situation. This is so upsetting, we know exactly who the culprit would target next, and yet... Hey, what's done is done. We got no choice now but to go in. But man, the Midnight Channel is becoming a mess. Let's hurry and rescue her. Yosuke, you better not slack off hoping she'll bear it all if we take our sweet time. I wouldn't pull us. No, he would. Straight up would. Even Yukiko is calling out, you know. I wouldn't do that, I swear. Believe me, I know we'll rescue Risei before the fog sets in. So, let's enter the TV. Let's go. Let's head in as I stay way too close to the TV and look at this and ow my eyes. That was not pleasant. Hey Sensei, you look like you found some clues! Yeah, indeed I did, Teddy. Did you find out more about this girl, Risei-chan? Man, I was just gonna narrate it and you took it from me. Uh-huh. Her real self. I see. She's just like me. The delicate, sentimental type. Right, yeah, sure. Sure, let's go with that. Then, hmm. Ah, there's something out there. Is this it? Did I find her? Follow me. Will do. Let's go. On to the dungeon I was not looking forward to. And I've, I, I mean, this dungeon is infamous. What is this place? It, it's all dark. Is this a... 
Oh, like the kind you always find in resort towns. Oh, I think you're right. Ugh. Oh, but we don't have one. Our inn is not like that. Huh. So this is a strip joint, huh? I love Kanji's attitude to this. That's how I'd feel. I'm like, huh. So this is a strip joint. Interesting, you know. Strip? Oh, I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? Oh, Teddy. You're... It's weird, because he talk goes on about scoring, but uh, th then again, we, we taught him that, so. <sighs> Strip? Like a zebra, right? <laughs> right? We all have a friend like Teddy. And I fear I'm the friend who is like Teddy. It's so bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. Doesn't anyone get the joke? <laughs> Okay, let's try one more time. Oh my god, I am Teddy. Strip. It's something zebras have. I, th huh? I thought that was just him being dumb, but he's actually being amazing. Can anyone shut this thing up? Huh? Zebra? Uh, sorry, what are we talking about? I, I won't say it again. Let's hurry on. I'm happy he's opening up more. For sure. Because at the beginning, he was really depressed the whole time. You have pinpointed Risei's location. All that's left is to rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. And we will. Maybe. So can I do equipment from here? Yes, I can. Because we got the no. Other, so we got the Duchess, which lowers the hit rate, high rate of confusion, and high rate of attack. So that should be good. Sadly, she's not even in our party, so that's fine. We're gonna get, uh... uh what's with the weird face of Mario Sirius, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> how funny. I just want to see what they all say. What does, what does Yukiko say? Is Yukun also interested in this sort of place? Aha, uh -huh, um, never mind. It's okay. Uh... <laughs> it was pretty crazy when we rescued Kanji-kun, but I think this is gonna be just as bad. Well, except the other way around. Yeah, we'll save her for certain. What do you? Okay, Kanji, what would you have to say? All right, let's do this, Senpai. Wow, nothing. Let's both give it 200%. Cool. Still all right. Doesn't seem the fog will clear. Proof? Proof is my good old nose. It hasn't been so good lately, but that's beside the point. Well, let's head in. Good luck. You'll need it. Teddy's a weird voice to do because it's like you want to be. You gotta do almost like an old woman voice, a youthful old woman voice. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, this smell, this atmosphere, it's making my heart pound. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I remember seeing this. It was in a review. Because I remember watching, my, my first real experience with Persona 4 was watching the Game Trailers video podcast review on my iPod video. It was so long ago, so it's like, you know, I remember seeing it there. We're going to try to get these guys, uh, the weaknesses going on, though. Um, and I remember just downloading it, thinking like, well, Persona, that sounds like a, it's an old one. Oh, all staffs are halved. Oh, jeez. Um, I remember just hearing, like, Persona, that sounds like a game, you know, I'd, I'd like. And I downloaded the trailer, uh, not the trailer, but the, um... Oh wow, that's, that's a really bad thing to have, actually. Um, I downloaded the review of it, and I remember watching it over and over, thinking, man, I want to play this game. And then I, like, never really could, because I never had a PS2. And I was always hoping, like, man, it'd be so cool if this would come to Nintendo. Because I was a Nintendo kid, you know? So it's like, um... Ooh, Pixie down there's new. There's the elephant guy. Isn't it Vishnu? I think it is. Oh, they're all new. Let's get the Pixie, though, because Pixies are usually good for, uh healing stuff. Yeah. Hi, Pixie. You're welcome. Hi, Pixie, into your heart. And we got some hard rocks. Oh, yeah. Some nice, uh, nice beer. They just dropped. They opened up, like, the fridges they are and just straight up gave us some, some beer. So, hi, Pixie here with the, uh, very pointed nips. Like, if, it's kind of hard to see, but they're actually, like, super pointed out. Like, it's not just whatever. Um... 
Oh, interesting. Normally, the I, you know, I imagine the Pixies having healing spells, but there's not anything other than Mipatra. So that's interesting. I like this music more than the one in Kanji's dungeon. It's a little creepy with the whispering voices and stuff. And by creepy, I mean totally awesome. Get him! Nice! Did we get it? Yeah! What do we got here? Uh, same dudes? I guess so. Thankfully, we can destroy them before anything happens. We haven't found out their weakness, though. I don't think they have one, then, if, it, if it's going like this. I mean, we can just kill them like this. I mean, it's sapping through our SP, but... That's fine. We're not going to be going... We don't need to preserve our SP, really, because we're just, you know, going through. So... And we're going to stop at a certain point, of course. We're just we're just getting up there. Get to at least the story floor, I think. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like the, uh... Uh, the, uh... Where the story starts to happen. That's literally what I said. Also, very nice. I like the, uh, the, the pink... Pink chests here. It's a very nice touch. So. Striptease level. It's going to be interesting. Uh, and I especially remember seeing what the boss looks like. Oh boy. That I could never get out of my head because I remember seeing it in the view and they're like, you know, this game is very Japanese. And I'm like, what does that mean? Oh, that's what that means. Also, we totally have a chest key, which is nice. We have a bunch of them, if I recall. Um, what the heck? DNA men. That's act Miss Jean. It's actually kind of scary looking. I don't like it. Ugh. Like, I've never been creeped out by monsters and stuff usually, but man, that is actually kind of creepy. I don't like it. These guys are stat debuffing, really. Um, ugh. 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 I don't, ugh. I don't like it. No. Um... Yeah, no. That's creepy, especially the movements and everything. Let's just attack. Yeah. Kanji with the nice hard strikes. Okay, uh, well, let's go for... I forget its name. It's like... It starts with an SH fire call. Um... Shisha! Shisa. Yep. And we got two, we got some rubbery objects from it. That's so gross. Oh man, DNA is weird, you know. Yeah, we got seven chest keys, why not? What do we get? A purple suit? Yo, we got a pimp suit. I'm putting on my pimp suit, dog. Um, counter physical. That's actually really good. Actually, first off, let's take a look here. What's everyone's defense stuff at? Kanji needs it, I'd say, the most. Yeah, because everyone else kind of has nice armor and stuff, but Kanji's is, uh, pretty bad. You can give it to him. Plus, I feel like if he's the one countering, it A, makes the most sense, because, you know, he's the, 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 that's just, that's just his steez, you know? Um, but it also would be more powerful because of the higher attack. That is the biggest shadow I think I've seen. It might just be the large one, but it looks really big. And it's just dancing couples. Or are they different? Soul Dancer. It is, apparently. You keep saying it's not strong at all, but we're like only two levels above it, Teddy. So far, I haven't got these guys' weaknesses yet. And I've been using basically every element. Maybe I need to use fire. Which we can use when we switch. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to use fire. That's that's a no, because they have fire. But then Bufu doesn't it hurt them. Maybe we'll try switching things out. What does Rakshasa have? He just has really good attack stuff. Let's give him a shot, because he's very powerful. He'll probably kill people pretty easy. Ah, uh, not exactly. Zionga, Mazio. Let's give him Mazio a try. Nope. Whoa. Getting close, though. You beat an enemy. There we go. That was easy. Man, such a good battle theme. I'm going to be honest. It's like, I was, where was it? People were, it was uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I think I've already talked about this, how people were complaining about, what do you mean that it has a lyrical battle theme? That's so stupid, because then it'll be distracted by the lyrics in battle. And it's like, not really. 
Like, I, I'm, it takes me, and especially because, like, you know, it starts the lyrics right away. Like, that's exactly like Persona 4. In Persona 4, it's awesome. Um, not as, I, I don't know if I prefer, I might prefer the Persona 2 battle theme a bit more. It's really good. Yeah, these guys, they do defense down then attack, which is a really good combo. Let's try out Gale Slash, why not? It's really cool, so I like that. You can probably kill him now. Nice. Oh, and we have our land badge. I totally forgot we got that, so that's good to have. Oh my god, we can get Legion. Let's get him. I missed. Oh, we got we got one more chance, though. Yes, let's do it. Oh, and it's, oh I was going to say it's much slower. Yes! You drew the card Legion. What does Legion come from? What mythology? I don't know. I mean, look at that. Literally, Legion is a ball of fused bodies made up of, like, thousands of bodies and souls, and it's so cool! I love it. It's level 21. So do we... Yeah, no, she's good for healing. Self? Well, we got... Okay, we got a better self, essentially, with the high pixie. And I really want Legion. Um... Ooh, Temperance? Sure, why not? I'm up for a challenge. Upright Temperance. You'll earn more money. Oh, that's... That's okay. Taka Mizukuchi leveled up, and we got Elect Boost, which is awesome. Means he's gonna get a lot more stuff. And he, level 34 is his next thing. Wow, it's just far, quite off, and it's for Fatal End, which is a strong attack, so that's good. And Floor... Th oh my god, we're only on Floor 2. I was gonna say Floor 3, but no, this is the first door. Sensei, are you okay? I'm getting a little drunk from all the pink. Is, is that a thing? Does pink cause you to have hallucinations or something? Is this is this a, a, a Japanese thing? Ooh! You can win this. Do you Death guess? Seekers. Ooh, that's actually kind of creepy. It really reminds me of if Pokemon took a darker path. I could definitely see this being a Pokemon, like from from a from a. You know, a later game when they decided, yeah, let's just straight up make- Whoa, okay, what the hell was that? I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? The- The stuff coming out? What was that? That's really scary. Wow. Cool. Oh god. Oh my god, that is scary! I don't like that face. Whoa. Huh, this is the first enemy that actually kind of freaks me out. Well, no, then again, I watched a, um, I watched a playthrough, I tried to watch a playthrough of Lisa the RPG, like the, the, the newer one. I'm not going to get into that, I didn't really like it. But I remember it, they had a, an enemy that was literally just like floating eyes and stuff, and it was creepy. It was like, like it was, you're in a dark cave and all you could see from this enemy is just like its eyes and mouth. And I was like, oh my god, that's, that's a little creepy. That's sort of similar to this, except in this you actually do, do get to see their body and stuff. Uh, like when, cause you, I don't think you do in that one, but in this one you do if you hit them, of course. So please don't be those guys again. I didn't like them. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, this is the first, like, group of enemies that I collectively feel uncomfortable from. Like, these guys, especially. Well, not not especially, but these guys, a bit. Just because of the way they move. Um, but yeah, no, it's the, uh, the other guys are creepy. Yeah, I don't like this still, though. Ugh. Nice. Oh, we have dodge physical, I forgot about that. That's actually, like, the best ability. Okay, not the best ability, but the best at the moment, you know. Get him. Nice. We got at 128. 77. Yeah, we're definitely pretty physically powerful now. But at the same time, we're, we're taking a bit of damage. Nice. Uh, let's maybe heal a bit. 
I think I'm going to keep you as another physical attacker for now, just because uh, the Rakshasa is very good. Let's go skill. Media. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, no. Honestly, I've never really been frightened by video game monsters. Um, which is funny, because I, I, I don't play horror games and stuff. And I'm more afraid of the thought of it than the actual thing. Oh, these guys are fine. These guys aren't scary at all. In fact, I actually really like their design, but it's like, whatever. Um, no, I try to avoid scary games because I'm more afraid of what might be than what actually is, if that makes sense. You know, it's the fear of the unknown type thing. Um, which is funny because I was actually, I was scared as a kid of the unknown from Pokemon. Like, you know, the, the alphabet soup Pokemon. And I know it's funny to say now, but man, in, in Pokemon the, uh, Pokemon the movie 3, I was creepy when the one guy got stuck in the dimension of the unknown. That creeped me out. Like, he's literally just floating through an endless space of, of letters as a, oh, and it, oh, I remember now. It was because I had a nightmare where there was, like, literally based off of, um, based off of uh, the movie, right? And so it was like, oh yeah, there's some unknown in my room, and I touch one, and it like multiplies into two, and I just couldn't stop them from multiplying, and even thinking about it now freaks me out. So it's like, I, I, I for the longest time, unknown freaked me out. I, I still don't love them. Um, I still would rather, n oh my god, it hit me. Um, I'd still rather not, um, you know, look at them if I will but now I'm now I'm at least at a good enough point where it's like you know seeing them on their own it's fine but if I saw a lot of them I don't like it I didn't like in melee when you get an unknown and like the the whole bunch of them would fly through on the screen I was like no I don't, I don't like that so that's uh yeah that's like one of those weird childhood fears though where it's not even like you know but then again thinking about it now that is a freaky situation being stuck in the realm of unknown you know anything like that you know freaks me out still a bit like not like not necessarily like it, if say i'm watching a movie about a person who could potentially be like stuck in space forever it's like whatever it's space but when you're stuck in a dimension full of something that's when things start to freak me out a bit like i yeah yeah that's why I'm happy we haven't got, like, a Mega Unknown or something that's, like, just a giant mass of them. Can you imagine if, like, they, they like, you know in the movie, um, how they make, like, a huge ball of them spinning around and they sing that terrifying song? Can you imagine if they turned that into its Mega form? Just, like, how they kind of turned the weird grout on? Oh, wait, whoa, these guys are different, aren't they? Yes. And this guy is, too. Um, they kind of turned that one into... Um, Primal Groudon, because he looks kind of similar. The weird Groudon from the Jirachi movie. I'm guessing these guys are going to be weak to, uh... No. So then we got... We'll try Zeo. For some reason, I, I want to keep thinking they're made of steel. Ow, that hurt. Oh! This is new. Yosuke Strike? Nice! Okay. Oh my god, we can do an all-out attack. Nice. I haven't got that in a long time. Nice, okay. That was good. I mean, even though we hurt ourselves. Uh, tanned Hide, Idle Stone Iron. I'd hope if I got a Stone Iron, it would be... It would be Idle. If it was moving, I'd be worried. Okay, so your extra money wore off. So that wasn't that terrible of a fight, but I think we just got really lucky. Okay, so now on to floor three. You know what? I think we'll probably cut it here. I don't want to have another 15-minute part. Hmm? I can smell it. Smell something. My nose is stiffing out some kind of clue. Well, we'll go find that clue, guys, next time. See you then. Ciao.